Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film a what I eat in a day and show you what I eat on the WW Green Plan. So just a reminder that the points I'll be giving you today are based on the Green Plan. And so if you are on one of the other plans, you might wanna check your app to check the points. So it is currently 6.30 in the morning and I actually have been up since 4.30. So I just, for some reason, couldn't sleep anymore. So I just, I got up, so. <sighs> but I'm just, I'm talking quietly because my daughter is still sleeping. So I really don't want her to wake up this early. <laughs> so, so every morning I always have a protein coffee, which consists of a Premier Protein Shake which is two smart points, and I mix it with some espresso that I make using my espresso maker. So I will show you how I make that. The Premier Protein that I have currently been using a lot lately is the Pumpkin Spice. It is really, really good. And like I said, it is two smart points for the entire bottle. And I get this kind on Amazon. And I always heat up my Premier Protein in the microwave for two minutes because I like to drink my coffee hot. One thing to mention when you heat up the premier protein it always develops this thin film on the top of it so I always just take a fork and stir it around and it attaches to the fork and then I just wipe it off it's really gross and you definitely don't want to drink that but once you get that out of there then it's fine to drink <laughs> So that is how I make my protein coffee in the morning and like I said it is two smart points and I'm not gonna have anything else with this today so I'm gonna just drink my coffee and I will probably work out sometime this morning and have a snack after that so I'll see you then okay I just wanted to show you quickly what my workout routine looks like so in my bedroom closet I have my treadmill and this is just what it looks like. It is a sole and it's a little dusty, but this is what I use to work out on. And I have a TV mounted on the wall so that I can watch TV, YouTube, or whatever I want while I'm working out on the treadmill. And it really just kind of helps pass the time and make it a little bit more fun. So on my treadmill, I just... I just use a program that I saved and it's based on the cardio program, but I just have it customized so that it is 40 uh, minutes. And so that's just what I do. And then I just watch TV while I work out. And that is pretty much what I do. Um, I try to do it six days a week and I do it in the mornings so that it helps me get it done and get it out of the way and so that I don't have any excuses later on to not do it so so I'm going to work out on my treadmill and I'm gonna have a snack after I get done so I will see you then okay so I just got done with my workout and so I'm going to have a snack and usually after my workouts I like to have a built bar so today I'm going to have the peanut butter brownie built bar and these actually are back in stock, I think for just a limited time, but I was able to order a couple of boxes yesterday. So I would recommend if you wanna try these to go, go to their website and order a box. Um, I'll post the link to the website in the description box below. But this is one of my favorite flavors and it is for Smart Points. And I'll show you what it looks like. 
This is what it looks like. It's just a chocolate belt bar with dark chocolate on the outside. And it kind of has a soft center, but I like to refrigerate mine so it kind of makes it a little bit more firm. And I just like the texture that way. So, so I'm gonna eat my belt bar and drink my water and I'll see you at lunchtime. Okay, so it is time for lunch. And before I get into that, I wanted to show you something neat that I bought recently. I recently bought this um, meal planner and it's by Skinny Taste and I ordered it on Amazon. And I'll post the link to order it in the description box below. But it's really neat. It's just like a meal planner and a tracker. So you can use it to track your points and you can also use it to plan out your meals and write out what you're having for the week. So I'll turn the camera around and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the cover looks like. It's called the Skinny Taste Meal Planner. And when you open it up, it's got some informational pages. Let's see if I can. Just kind of talks to you about eating clean and all that stuff. And it also gives you um, an example to show you how to plan out your meals and how to track your food. And then it has a lot of other informational pages like how to swap different food items. Like this one says mashed avocado for mayo, egg whites for whole eggs and stuff like that. But my favorite part that I really like and I think I'll probably use the most is the meal plan part. So I just got this this week, and so I have written out, um, it has a place to put the date at the top, and then it's got a place to put three weekly goals, and, and then it has a place to put all of your meals for the week. And it also has a place here to put what you need for your shopping list and some notes as well which I haven't really written anything in that area. I've just put down my meal plan for the week. And I really like this because it just kind of keeps me more organized so that I can write out exactly what I'm gonna have for each meal and that'll help me kind of stay more on track because I know what I'm gonna eat ahead of time, so. And then it also has pages where you can track everything you eat so you can track points or calories and it's got breakfast lunch dinner and snacks and then it's got the days of the week so Monday Tuesday and so forth and then it's also got a place you can track your exercise and then it goes back to a new weekly meal planner so I really love this book. Um, I can't remember where I even saw it. I think it was on a video somewhere, but, and I think it'll just really help me stay more organized and help me plan out my meals and write them out and make sure that I know exactly what I'm gonna eat every single day. So like I said, you can buy this on Amazon and I'll post a link in the description box below. So I'm a big believer in meal planning. I plan on making a video next week to show you how I meal plan. So look for that coming up next week. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making my lunch. So I will show you what I'm gonna have. So for lunch today, I'm gonna have these cauliflower chicken tenders. And I tried the original ones last week and they were really good. And I'd also picked up some of these spicy ones. So I wanna try them and see how they are. So I'm gonna have nine ounces of these for five smart points, and I'm going to dip them in this Hidden Valley Greek yogurt ranch dressing, which is two smart points for two tablespoons. And with the chicken tenders, I'm also going to make some of these great value steak fries, and I'm gonna have five ounces for six smart points. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out my meal items, and then I'm gonna put them in the air fryer and cook them. So I'm going to set my scale to zero, and I have my bowl, and I'm going to do five ounces of the steak fries. 
Okay, so that is five ounces of the steak fries, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my air fryer. And then I'm gonna weigh out the cauliflower chicken tenders. So I ended up getting a little less than eight ounces, so I'm gonna just stick with that, and that's still five smart points. So I'm gonna put the chicken tenders in my air fryer. Okay, so I have my fries and my chicken tenders, and I'm gonna go ahead and start the air fryer. And I'm gonna just use the preset thing for the french fries, which is 400 degrees at 18 minutes, and I will check them throughout. Um, okay, so everything is done. So I'm going to take it out and put it on a plate, and I will show you what I'm eating. Okay, so this is my lunch. I have the eight ounces of the cauliflower spicy chicken tenders for five smart points, and five ounces of the great value steak fries for six smart points. And then I have two tablespoons of the Hidden Valley Greek yogurt ranch dressing for two smart points. And then I have just a little bit of this G Hughes sugar-free ketchup. You can have up to three tablespoons for zero smart points. So my entire lunch is a total of 13 smart points. So I'm going to eat my lunch and I will probably have a snack this afternoon. So I will see you then. So I just wanted to update you on the Kali Power spicy chicken tenders. And I just wanna warn you, they are very, very spicy. I personally would probably not buy them again just because they are very, very spicy and almost too much for me to take. So they are very, very good, but they are very spicy. So if you like a lot of spicy foods, then you definitely would like these, but I personally won't try them again. So just wanted to let you know. Okay, so this afternoon I'm going to have a snack and this is a snack that I had had in a previous video. It's a rice cake with some PB2 on it and some marshmallow cream. And I got this idea from a gal on YouTube and Instagram. I'll post her um, Instagram username in on the screen. I don't remember what it is right now. So, but um, so I'm going to make that, and I'll show you what it is. Okay, so for this snack, I'm using these uh, Quaker lightly salted rice cakes. They are one smart point each. So I'm just gonna use one rice cake and then I'm gonna mix two tablespoons of the PB2, which is one smart point, and one tablespoon of the marshmallow cream. So I'm going to take out my rice cake and set it on my plate. And then I'm going to mix two tablespoons of the PB2 with some water. And I just add enough water to make it look like a creamy consistency like this. And then I'm gonna just spread this on the rice cake. And then I'm gonna take one tablespoon of the marshmallow cream and put it on top. It's kind of sticky and hard to spread around, so I'm just gonna do the best I can. All right, so I'm gonna have my three smart point snack and I will see you at supper time. Okay, so for supper tonight, I made chicken noodle soup and this recipe is from the Pound Dropper and I will put a link to the recipe in the description box below. But basically, I just cooked everything in the crock pot for two hours and then I added some egg noodles. So I will show you what it looks like. It looks really good. And I'm gonna divide this into six equal servings. And each serving is seven smart points. So in order to figure out how much each serving is, I need to weigh out the entire thing and then divide it by six. So I have a large bowl on my scale and I need to turn my scale on, make sure it is set to zero. And then I'm going to dump all of the soup in the bowl and then I'll divide it by six. Okay, so I hope this is gonna fit in the bowl. We will see. It's gonna be really close, so hopefully it doesn't spill everywhere. 
But you know what? That's kind of how my day's been, so I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so it came to be 94 ounces, so I'm going to divide that by 6, and that makes 15.66 ounces. That seems like a lot, so we'll see how big the serving is, and I might have to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to place my bowl on the scale and make sure it's set to zero. And then I'm going to weigh out 15.66 ounces and see how big it is. That is a lot. So yeah, honestly, that is insane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it into eight servings. Okay, so if I divide it by eight, then it comes to 11.75 ounces. So we'll see how big that is. Okay, since I had to recalculate and make eight servings, each serving was 11.75 ounces, which makes it five smart points. So this is my supper tonight, and I will probably have a snack later on. Okay, so tonight I'm going to have a snack before bed, and I'm going to have another Built Bar. And this one is the Coconut Almond, and this is one of my other favorites. So this is three smart points, and that is all I'm going to have for today. So I'm ending the day using 30 of my 33 daily smart points. So that is the end of my What I Eat in a Day video on the WW Green Plan. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.